Don't hesitate. Ready and willing. Hiding behind masks, Eldest. Isn't it time you cast them away? Words, words. How little value we attach to them, and how much they truly mean. But I've grown tired of words and prophecies. They no longer predict chaos and death. Instead, I will show them to you, myself. Oh, yes, the time has come! The time of fate and curses! Let us strike as one! Out of my way! Unworthy.
curses. Maybe you'll like my show better. Time for masks is over. You risk challenging an eldest, and I accept the challenge. If 
I'm not a mere embodiment, but my true essence. This is my essence. I don't need magic or servile monsters to destroy you. Words are enough. Yes, words. I once told you, words spoken in the right time and place possess the power of the storm. You lightheartedly answer that you know what your power and essence are. In the dedication to bring order to chaos. I remember your answer. The world remembers it too. Your answer, your heart, your essence. And now, cursed queen, I'm taking this part of your soul as I took away Nyrissa's ability to love. What you called your essence is yours no more. <laughs> Let us continue. We both wear the crown. But what are you all? A meager patch of land, a few thousand souls? My dominion is chaos and magic, madness and deceit. Your power is nothing compared to mine. And that is why you are helpless before me. You will take my every blow as a divine punishment, as something imminent. self-sufficient value that one's equals become strangers and one's inferiors are entirely insignificant. I am an eldest. Laughter, guile, transformation, that's what I am. Be what I am, I will let you feel a modicum of my loneliness. I will take away your pillar of strength. See if you can withstand the heat of my fire.
refreshing feeling. I don't remember sensing it for lost many. But what's next? How will you end this story? Listen, I know a good ending. Elegant and refined. The hero defeats a deity in battle. Impressed, it grants the victor power and immortality. The hero enters the chambers of the deity to become his champion and herald. Eternal, powerful, equally glorified both in the First World and in Valerian. Her kingdom healed from its wounds and flourished under the rule of the immortal champion. A beautiful ending, isn't it? And this legend is yours for the asking. Trust the laughing lie. Don't do this. Not after everything you and I have endured because of him. I can give you immortality and power, though not as much as the Lantern Kings. Perhaps we won't be able to stand against the Eldest, but... Accept my gift and my patronage, and together we will make him pay for what he's done. How sad it is to hear you, Nyrissa. Thousands of years for nothing! You haven't learned a single lesson. Never learned to atone. But what do you say? That is easy. I will return your kingdom to Galarian and strengthen its connection to the First World. In their homeland, the Fae can endlessly return to life. I will give to you the same gift. And so long as you will remain an enclave of the First World, death within its borders will never threaten you. As for the prize, I am offering you the position of a servant. Believe it or not, I am lonely. My power and immortality are a heavy burden. To accept it means losing all your friends and companions, but you can find allies and reliable assistance. This is what I'm looking for. A herald and a general with whom I can share eternity, and together we'll play a thousand wonderful pranks and spread our power across the First World and further, much further. What do you think? I can let my misguided protege go wherever she likes. Knowing her, I'm doubtful she will become a humble exile. I won't. I've come too far to go back. It might take me a thousand years and thousands of deaths, but I will find a way to get back at you, Eldest. Even if she betrays our alliance and becomes your puppet. I suggest we do not kneel. We are both cursed, you and I. So what? The curse can harm you only as much as affliction touches your kingdom. But now, with the eldest wounded and bleeding, his henchmen all slain, I can return your state to the material plane. It will heal its wounds, and so will you. I'll create a bond between you and the First World, granting you immortality. Just as the Lantern King promises. What role in all this shall I play, Trespasser? The role of the vanquished. I know you will hardly accept a defeat, Elvist. You may try to attack us again, but we defeated you once. And we will do it again if we must. I'm ready to fight you forever if I have to. Did I tell you I don't like dying? Well, I don't. Perhaps we should stop this pointless exercise and speak seriously? So be it. This performance has run its course. It would be unwise to continue. Besides, I have no love of dying to turn into life. My fellow eldest are very good at playing especially intricate pranks at that exact moment. You were cursed by my will. By my will, you are now free from the curse. May the shackles be broken, fetters be loosened. What's been stolen will be returned. What's been divided will be made whole again. I say farewell, and release your kingdom to the material plane. Oh, be glad of your ordinary mortal life. Forget the gods of the first world. 
Now they no longer concern you. 